Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is Shivam. Welcome to ODX Indicators webinar. Okay, so uh, this one is going to be a very interesting webinar. Uh, we are going to understand understand the uh, you know uh, finding trades using ODX, but we are also looking at the order flow data in the future. Okay, so this one uh, this one is going to be a completely random webinar. Okay. Uh, but I will, what I will do here is, uh, you know, uh, I will talk about the uh, ODX indicator with synchronization to what is happening in the futures, okay? And do we get trades based on this, okay? Just try to look at the both the data, options and futures, okay? Now, uh, I'll, I will look at the uh, data for a one-minute context, okay? Because there can be buyers and sellers, both. Uh, if you look at for the data today, you, you, you probably could have got trades based on the uh, selling uh, for selling as well but we will look at the one minute data okay we got we get a lot of requests for one minute chart as well so what i'll do is i will should change the chart to one minute okay now this is the one minute chart now instead of using the odx profile which i can use for this uh, but i would i would go with the odx total buy sell aggregator okay so i'll apply the indicator total buy sell aggregator now what I will do here is I will I I I'll, I prefer to use twenty strikes when it comes to Nifty Fifty and twenty four strikes when it when it's uh if it's Nifty Bank okay so twenty strikes and I will look for the only today I want to check only today's data so I'll keep the data duration as one and then I will enable only sell threshold okay you can enable buy and sell threshold both but I will only enable sell threshold and I will keep here thirty crore thirty crore the value okay. And then I will do some changes to bar style. So I prefer to use a lighter color. Okay. So when I use the light colors, what happens is these are not really, you know, uh, when the data is not really important, it will be very uh, uh, faded color. And I will use a dark color, bright color for the, for the, where the conditions are meeting. So I have only enabled sell threshold and not buy. Now, even if you are a buyer or seller, remember, it is very important to know what sellers are doing. There can be really big buying in the call. There can be really big buying in the put. But majority of the times, it's just covering. Okay, it's 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 a covering. If you understand that, you can use that as well. But at the moment, we will go with the only selling data. Okay, so we want to know that what sellers are doing. Okay, so we, we, I have just enabled sell threshold and I'm keeping a 30 crore as the threshold. Now, these are the, these are the area where there were 30 crores plus selling so you can look at here on this particular candle we get a, a somewhat around 37.9 if you can see you can see the data here or you can see the data here as well so when i keep my cursor here you can see 37.9 that is a selling on the call so this this color is for a call and this one again how much how much crores of selling 38 crores of selling here okay then we got some selling in the put in the put so we got one selling here okay you can see how market actually turned from here you see that's a really good really good uh you know move here after that so then there was again selling on this particular candle which is which also highlighting also this could this could be covering by the uh put buyers as well and as, as well as fresh selling as well on the put side then there was a selling on the uh there was a selling on the call then okay and then let later market covered a little bit and this 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 again remember this could be booking as well profit booking as well maybe okay we don't know at the moment uh, what what we are looking here as well that there was a one trade uh, one uh, really good selling on the call again and you can see the market then did not went really up and there was a, some correction okay now what i will do here is what i will do here is even though it's a, just a one minute i'll just go to the nifty futures and check that what is happening on these particular time frame now you must be wondering why i'm not looking at the first candle as you know that uh, we do not analyze the first first or maybe sometimes you can also ignore the second one but i would but better to 90 percent of the time it is difficult to analyze uh, the first candle okay so i'll just uh, i'll just keep that one aside okay so uh, what i will do is i will open a new chart here and i'll just keep it like this like and then I will change to Nifty Futures. So Nifty dash I. Okay. So this Nifty Futures. Now I, I could have changed this with a one button. You can see, uh, you see Nifty Bank, Nifty Futures. So make sure that you know the hotkeys. Then I will change this to one minute chart. Okay. And I don't need a lot of data. So I'll keep only 10 days. Okay. Even though I'm just looking at the one day. So less data is loading. Okay. If we load this as well. 
Okay. Now what I will do is also I will his enable a histogram for delta. So I'll just enable the delta here. Okay. What I have done is I have enabled the delta here and then I will go to the setting of this. Okay. And I will go to the setting and I will use a number here. Okay. For brightening the bigger delta. Now, if you have attended my webinars, uh, especially the advanced webinar, I have said that on a five minute chart, I prefer to use thousand delta. On a five minute chart, I prefer to use thousand delta. Now, what do you think is, is the right delta for a one minute chart? Okay. So usually I look around uh, half of it. Okay. Somewhat around half. So here I can go with a 400 delta. Okay. So 400 for one minute. Even, even a 350 or 300 is also okay. But I just want to be a bigger delta. So I'm using 400, which is 2.5 times of uh, what we are using for 5 minutes. Okay. So this is a 400 delta and I want this to be a bright color. So easily visible. I'll make this as a bright. Okay. And then also for the negative. So I select any negative and I'll keep 400 and I'll just uh, bright, make this as a bright. Okay. That's it. So these are the these are the deltas where you know there were there were really big deltas here and here. Now let us let us see that when we are getting any you know any trades based on the you can look at a different way as well. That what is happening here is uh, based on that you are also checking the options. Or what you can do is you can check the what is happening in the options and based on that what is happening in the future. Either way is correct. Okay, there's no there's no there's no problem in that. A lot of time what I've seen is uh, the uh, it is it is uh, really good to find out the reversals based on the uh, futures data. OK, a lot of times and uh, you can look at the other way. So maybe if there is a big delta, you can check what is happening here. Or if there is a really big selling in the call output, you can check what is happening in the future. OK, so let us see. Now we got we got a trade. We got we don't got a trade. We got a really big data here. OK. We got some data here, which is a selling data. And as I said, selling is more important. Whether you're a buyer or seller doesn't matter. We, we are getting data. These are data which are in, which could be really important data. So we are getting somewhat around 37 crores of 37 crores of uh, selling in the call. Okay. So what I will do is at the same time, I will go and check what is happening at this particular time in the future. So 9.59. So what is the time? 9.59. Let us go and check here. So it is around here. Nine fifty nine, right? Let me go back and check again. So it's on nine fifty nine. We're getting, and let us check here. So, we, so we are getting eighty seven delta here. We, I will also enable the volume, just for the case. Okay. So, so what we have here is now now see something interesting. Okay, now really it is it is very interesting to see uh, that there was three hundred and thirty eight volume traded. Okay, on Nifty Fifty at nine fifty eight, and there was a diversion here. Okay, remember that we are talking. We are, this is this is just to understand that you know there might be some some data here and there for a one minute, but maybe based on that. What we are looking, you know, what what kind of action happens? Like for example, this happened on 9:59. But if you see on the future, if you see on the future, there was a decent volume, which is 338 volume, and there was a delta of 142, and there was a diversion. Okay, so uh, so basically, if you see, this is a delta divergence. You can apply the divergence indicator. At the moment, I'm not applying because otherwise, then it will show divergence for all. But you can simply see this is 142 positive delta and this is a, this is a negative candle right so this is what happening here uh, almost at the day top this is this is the almost the day high this is what is happening now don't you see maybe this is the reason why we are getting the selling on the next candle i think there is some relation okay as i said this is going to be this is going to be a very random webinar but i'm just finding some clues okay so we got a we got a diversion here which is a which is with a okay volume i wouldn't say it's a really big volume for a one minute, I think for a one minute, it is it is it is a it is a small volume, but there was some divergence at the end. Okay, and I won't say that this is a really big delta, but if I just go back, I what I see is some kind of relation. Even though on future side the relation is maybe weak. Okay, so we got we got we got some you know selling data after that here. Okay, so this is the first thing. Okay, I'm not saying that you you can trade this or something. I'm just finding some relation with the 
futures and nifty 50 then there was another uh, selling at 1070 so let us let us look here at the 1070 now this is a clear trade this is a clear trade okay now you if you if you are wondering how it's a clear trade somebody who is using odx they definitely know so there there was a really decent selling and it's around 38.7 and there is a really big sell off in the futures you can see here i can see it's minus 435 this, this is already highlighted Uga. so we got a we got a trade here okay we got a this is a clear confirmed trade because the data is synced okay and in in here what you can do is sometimes you know it may be not really that possible if the candle is big enough if the candle is some decent points it's fine if a candle is something like this you can maybe go with the uh, some certain points or the next candle uh, above candle as a as a target or as a sorry as a sl okay and you will you can most probably you will see a really decent you know market going down from such area okay i won't say that it will completely go but obviously it can reverse as well but you will see uh very quickly some points market going you know uh, because, of, because of this reason maybe market falling or maybe it, if it's a opposite side you can see the market going up as well okay so this was a this was a clear clear trade and this was a uh, I would say this was a win-win trade. Okay, it's a win trade because you got the data sync. Okay, then now let us see another. Obviously, we are we are not looking with some other day, some other day when I will do webinar, I will also talk about the buying as well. But at the moment, I'm trying to skip this. Okay, at the moment, I'm trying to skip this. I'll just keep keep it very clear. So we will go to the another 30 crore selling in the future in the options. Okay, so where is that data? We got one data at. 1349 okay so we got we are getting some data here okay now this interestingly is a sell on the on the put side now put selling is obviously uh, bullish right we we got this selling as a call selling so call selling means bearishness in the market okay there's market going down uh, you might you might have you might can see as well this way that there was some selling here there was some selling here so these are both two side big selling so this can also result as a trade okay now we are looking at the other data point. So on 1349. So let us let us check on 1349. You can also see that this 400 delta is acting as a really decent uh, resistance as well. You see, market was struggling to go above this area. Okay. All right. So I forgot the time. It's uh, 1349. So 1349 somewhat around here. Okay. Thirteen forty nine around this area. Okay. Now I will also look at the volume of this sometimes because they can be uh, they can be exhaustion. So I just want to see that uh, volume as well. So thirteen forty nine. You can see there is no really big volume. There is no really big volume. Okay. There is no really something in the delta. Now this is a complete. This thirteen forty nine and this forty nine. When I see this data, this is a complete. Uh, 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 you know uh, 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 activity happening only in the options so you can see that how market we have seen many times because of the future market may be reversing and this is the activity completely happening in the options and because of that market is reversing from here you can see there's no there's no uh, there's nothing happening uh, in the in the futures at the same time okay now maybe uh, too uh, quick to judge on here so maybe you are looking for some other data as well so we got a, we got a, we got a another data at 1357 okay so there is 30 on 1357 now let us see on 1357 now that's a really good one now this this results in a trade now you might be wondering that okay why this is a trade this is not the brightest one but you said you see you just missed by 20 points it's a really big volume 855 lots traded around this area and this is a really good one 851 not every time because we highlight based on some value uh, that you have to go with some deviation that okay they can be 20 points less or they can be 25 point less so a 381 is a decent uh, delta i would say for a one minute okay and that completely it shows a really good one okay it, it, it either on both sides and i i can also skip this however we are not doing a webinar on this i can also look at the other thing which is the buying in the call side okay at the moment we are not looking at this data the reason for that is because i want to just stick to the what what sellers are doing but you can see really big bar so this itself gives you a trade so there is a definitely trade based on this data okay and you can see how market is going up from here okay certain points at least
okay so this is how this is how you know this is how the market works now you let's say you're looking at this data and then what happened here is on this particular candle on this particular candle a lot of covering was there and you can see it is almost equivalent to this so you can see 48 crores of selling in the call again so this stops the market okay that does not mean that market will not go up but a lot of positions are being covered when it when when i look at this candle okay so this 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 becomes a problem okay and thus the market did not went really up okay so this is this is what we are getting we are, we can understand with the options okay then there was a, again a big selling in the call which hence you know market not doing much and this is also the end of the part end of the uh, market okay so what i want to say here we got a we got a trade we got a decent trade on this candle okay we got a decent trade on this candle okay now where on both the candles the data that we are getting on the future and the options is somehow the sync now obviously obviously not all the time the data will sync and there will be trades okay this is just my way of confirming both the sides because look what we are looking here is we are looking at the options and options has call and put both sides and we are looking at the futures so there are three different instruments okay you might consider fno or future option call and put both uh, as a one but remember that these are different strikes there are many strikes okay we are just uh, dis dividing this based on call and put so something happening in the call something happening in the put okay it's, if both are sync that means if the market is bearish you will see selling in the call and buying in the put okay so that's one thing and then you're also looking at the futures okay so i hope this you understood that how how one can you know try to understand that what market is trying to do not every time there's going to be perfect trade but but i hope you understood the this part okay you can confirm by saying yes if you have if you had some idea about you know how to look at this thing all right so thank you for joining this webinar uh, if you have any further questions you can connect us uh, on the chat